The moon, Earth's closest celestial neighbor, has captivated humanity for millennia. Its silvery glow against the night sky has inspired countless poems, stories, and scientific inquiries. One of the most intriguing aspects of the moon is its incredibly thin atmosphere, a stark contrast to the life-sustaining blanket of air that envelops our planet. This ethereal shroud, known as an exosphere, is a testament to the constant bombardment the moon endures from space debris, primarily meteoroids. Unlike Earth with its breathable atmosphere, the moon's exosphere is a near-perfect vacuum. The absence of a substantial atmosphere on the moon has profound implications for its surface environment. Without an atmosphere to moderate temperatures, the lunar surface experiences extreme temperature swings between day and night. Additionally, the lack of a protective atmosphere means that the moon's surface is constantly exposed to the harsh radiation of space. The moon's exosphere is so thin that it is more accurately described as a surface boundary layer rather than a true atmosphere. The density of the lunar exosphere is billions of times lower than Earth's atmosphere at sea level. This extreme thinness means that the few gas molecules present in the lunar exosphere rarely collide with each other. Instead, these molecules follow ballistic trajectories, moving in straight lines until they either escape into space or collide with the lunar surface. The difference in atmospheric density between Earth and the Moon is primarily due to their gravitational pull. Earth's stronger gravity allows it to retain a substantial atmosphere, while the Moon's weaker gravity means that any gases released from its surface quickly escape into space. The composition of the lunar exosphere also differs significantly from Earth's atmosphere, consisting mainly of trace amounts of gases like sodium, potassium, helium, and argon. The primary source of the gases found in the Moon's exosphere is meteorite bombardment. Meteoroids, small pieces of space debris, constantly rain down on the lunar surface at high speeds. When a meteoroid impacts the Moon, its kinetic energy is transferred to the lunar surface, vaporizing both the meteoroid and a small amount of the lunar soil. This vaporization process releases gases that temporarily become part of the Moon's exosphere. The rate of meteorite bombardment on the Moon is much higher than on Earth. This is because the Moon lacks an atmosphere to slow down or burn up incoming meteoroids. As a result, even small meteoroids can reach the lunar surface and contribute to the production of its exosphere. Over time, the continuous influx of gases from meteorite impacts helps to maintain the Moon's tenuous atmosphere. The Moon's exosphere is a highly dynamic and transient environment. The gases released by meteorite impacts do not remain in the exosphere for long. Due to the Moon's weak gravity, these gases are quickly lost to space through a process known as atmospheric escape. The most common mechanism of atmospheric escape on the Moon is thermal escape, where gas molecules gain enough energy from solar radiation to overcome the Moon's gravitational pull and escape into space. Another important process that shapes the lunar exosphere is interaction with the solar wind. The solar wind is a stream of charged particles constantly flowing from the sun. When the solar wind interacts with the moon's exosphere, it can ionize gas molecules, stripping away electrons and creating ions. These ions are then carried away by the solar wind's magnetic field, further contributing to the loss of gases from the lunar exosphere. Section 5. A History Written in Craters The moon's surface bears witness to its long history of meteorite bombardment in the form of countless craters. These craters, ranging in size from microscopic pits to vast impact basins, are a testament to the constant rain of space debris that has shaped the lunar landscape over billions of years. The impact craters on the Moon provide valuable insights into the history of the solar system, including the rate of meteorite bombardment in the past and the composition of early solar system materials. Section 6, Apollo's Legacy uncovering the moon's secrets. Our understanding of the moon's exosphere has been greatly enhanced by data collected during the Apollo missions. The Apollo astronauts deployed instruments on the lunar surface that measured the composition and density of the lunar exosphere, providing the first direct measurements of this tenuous atmosphere. These measurements confirmed the presence of gases like sodium, potassium, and helium in the lunar exosphere, and provided valuable insights into the processes that control its composition and dynamics. The Apollo missions also returned lunar samples to Earth, 
providing scientists with an opportunity to study the composition of lunar rocks and soil in detail. Analysis of these samples has revealed further evidence of the role of meteorite impacts in shaping the Moon's surface and its exosphere. The presence of certain isotopes in lunar rocks, for example, can be directly attributed to the influx of material from meteorites. Section 7, The Composition of the Exosphere, Whispers of Gas The lunar exosphere, while incredibly thin, has a complex and constantly changing composition. The primary constituents of the lunar exosphere include sodium, potassium, helium, argon, and radon. These elements are released from the lunar surface through a variety of processes including meteorite impacts, solar wind sputtering, and radioactive decay. Sodium and potassium are particularly prominent in the lunar exosphere, giving it a faint orange glow when observed at certain wavelengths. Helium, a noble gas, is also present in significant quantities in the lunar exosphere. Helium is thought to originate from both the solar wind and the decay of radioactive elements within the Moon's interior. Argon, another noble gas, is also found in the lunar exosphere, though in smaller quantities than helium. Argon is likely released from the lunar surface through a combination of meteorite impacts and radioactive decay. Section 8. The Dynamic Exosphere, A Constant Dance The Moon's exosphere is dynamic and ever-changing, its density and composition vary with solar activity, meteorite impacts, and time of day. During meteor showers the exosphere's density increases. Daytime sunlight heats the exosphere causing gas molecules to escape. Thus, the exosphere is denser at night. The moon's orientation to the sun and solar wind also affects it. Facing the sun, solar wind drives the exosphere to the poles. When shielded by Earth the exosphere expands and becomes diffuse. Section 9. The Moon's Atmosphere, A Delicate Balance The Moon's exosphere, despite its extreme thinness, plays a crucial role in shaping the lunar surface environment. The exosphere acts as a tenuous barrier between the lunar surface and the harsh conditions of space, moderating the effects of solar radiation and micrometeoroid impacts. While the exosphere cannot prevent these space-weathering processes entirely, it does help to slow down the rate at which they erode and alter the lunar surface. Understanding the dynamics of the lunar exosphere is essential for future lunar exploration and potential human settlements. The exosphere can affect the performance of spacecraft and instruments, and its composition and variability must be taken into account in the design of future lunar missions. Moreover, the potential for resource extraction on the Moon, such as water ice found in permanently shadowed craters, will require a thorough understanding of the lunar exosphere and its interactions with the lunar surface. Section 10. Beyond the Moon. Implications for other celestial bodies. The study of the Moon's exosphere has implications that extend far beyond our celestial companion. The processes that shape the lunar exosphere such as meteorite bombardment, solar wind interactions, and atmospheric escape are relevant to understanding the evolution of atmospheres on other airless or nearly airless bodies throughout the solar system, including Mercury, asteroids, and some of the moons of the outer planets. By studying the Moon's exosphere, we can gain insights into the processes that drive atmospheric loss and the factors that determine whether a celestial body can retain an atmosphere over long periods. These insights are crucial for understanding the evolution of planets and moons and for assessing the potential habitability of worlds beyond our own. The search for life beyond Earth often focuses on planets and moons that possess substantial atmospheres and liquid water on their surfaces. However, the study of airless or nearly airless bodies like the Moon can provide valuable clues about the early evolution of planetary atmospheres and the conditions that may have prevailed on early Earth before the emergence of life. Section 11. A Universe of Discovery – The Ongoing Quest to Understand The Moon's thin atmosphere created by meteorite bombardment is a testament to our dynamic solar system. Studying the lunar exosphere offers insights into airless bodies in the cosmos. As we explore the moon and other celestial objects, we understand the forces shaping our solar system. The quest to understand the moon extends into human curiosity. The moon, once mysterious, is now a stepping stone in our journey. As we venture further, the moon guides our search for other worlds.